having a good time? Yeah. Is it freezing? I think it's boiling. Woo. We have a boil. <laughs> Hello and welcome to my channel, to Floss Tube number six. Uh, I was thinking of uh, how can I make floss tube my way and I was thinking why not bring floss tube out into the woods bring my daughter who will assist me a little bit and enjoy two things at the same time uh, camping um, being out in the wild and talk about cross stitching that's a great combination uh, so as you saw in the beginning of the uh, video uh, we walked a little bit to get where we were set up the tent it's not that we're gonna sleep here today but um, it was <laughs> <laughs> for just you know practicing putting up the tent um, when Christmas and New Year's is done, uh, the feelings, you know, we're heading straight to spring and uh, the feelings of getting out uh, grows within me. So, yeah, I just need to get out. Uh, so the lighting might be, yeah, crappy as usual, but um, we will just have to do with what we got. And yes. I boiled, boiled some water. I think I showed you the boil in the beginning. There's nothing like a cup of coffee out in the wild. <laughs> and we have some visitors, visitors I guess. <laughs> mm. Delicious. And Minna here she's gonna have some noodles or is it called is it called ramen in english so i will just yeah <laughs> take a look at how how they're doing i brought i didn't bring my my um my lightweight kitchen. I brought the big kitchen because it's just a little bit easier. Uh, the spoon, you stir it. They look finished, doesn't they? Can you grab some? they're done mm. really mm. so I pour the water out huh I pour I pour, pour, pour the water out hello yes, yes. yes. okay. <laughs> what if I pour pour in <laughs> your shoes Oh, no, I got noodle water in my shoes. <laughs> it sounds like someone's doing something else. <laughs> it looks like it as well, the same color. <laughs> so this will do. You take the yellow thing there. Oh, there, there you go. And you can have it on that. So, because I don't know if it's uh, warm underneath. Okay? So, while you're eating that, I'm going to show you <laughs> my uh, cross stitch progress and my cross stitching haul. What do you need? Just a tumbler. 
Oh, you're near you need your earbuds. Oh, so I brought almost everything with me out uh, to the woods. What I didn't bring is uh, three projects. I didn't bring um, my once upon a fairy tale because you've seen my uh, progress uh, on the in the stitch along videos, and I haven't worked all that much more with it, so. Uh, I, it's just too big to bring out here and I didn't bring my Grandmaster the super size because it's on my big scroll frame and <laughs> I didn't feel like you know taking it taking it off the scroll frames and I haven't had any time to work on it because of my new job which takes all my time and all my energy so I haven't had that much time to work on that or I haven't worked on it at all um, so why bring it to show progress and I didn't bring my Mirabilia which is also on uh, a scroll frame and I've actually worked quite a lot uh, on that but I will insert a picture here and here you can see uh, the progress I've made and I worked on it, I guess, all, all this week, but um, yeah, I haven't had that much time because of work. But anyway, um, but I, I just love working on her. It's uh, Miss Christmas Eve. I love the hand dyed uh, threads. I don't like them as much as the Gloriana silk thread, which I use on my um squirrels of sumatra but i i love the color va variation in the threads and the hand dyed fabric is amazing really amazing <laughs> so yeah i didn't bring those three projects but i brought something else I can't believe it's um, when it, it's the 19th of January, Nitton de Januari. Yeah, yeah, it is. She doesn't know, but it is. <laughs> and you know, the sun is out, and um, these woods we're in, it's close to where we live. And uh, there's a lot of people out here, and there were even two girls who came with like a dog sled with how many dogs were there six dogs six hunda six or eight six or eight, six or eight dogs <laughs> and they were like pulling um a four wheeler yeah it looked so cool and i don't know what i was thinking but i didn't film it <laughs> duh well let's see sorry so Let's show you some progress. I decided for one evening to work on my ink circle uh, squirrels of Sumatra. And I'm using the hand dyed Gloriana silk thread and it's a hand dyed fabric from Mysterious uh, fabrics and it's just so lovely beautiful I don't know if you can see the color variations in the thread uh, before I stitched one thread every day just to get a, a little bit of progress but then I think it was last week I decided to um, just sit a whole evening and stitch so I made quite some nice pro pro progress on this one but then I haven't stitched any more on it and on the 1st of January the first letter from Hogwarts was released and we um, it's like you stitch your own adventure so you get different options and the first letter was all about choosing which house you're in and Mina uh, she's a badger 
in her school, in her uh, house. And uh, when I made, took the test on Pottermore, I uh, was put in Hufflepuff. So I'm very proud to say that I'm a Badger Hufflepuff. slash Hufflepuffer as well. So it was an easy ch choice for me. And this is the first letter of Hogwarts. So cool. I just love that um, diamond pattern. Let's see if I can show you. Those two shades of yellow and the badger is just so cute. I love it. Yeah, it's very nice. So. Ah. Do you need to charge it? Om du har en iPhone. I I do. Um where's my bag? I can hold this. Um the top of the backpack the top you know you see there where the red uh, string is stem stem you pull it open and the charger is in there <laughs> so you do it quite fast because it's getting cold yeah. Sorry. Maybe an iPhone that the Oh iPhone. no, I don't have Yay. iPhone. Sorry. Sorry. Ingen fara. No problem. No problem. Mm. You think you can play with your phone without sound? Yeah. Please put it back where you took it. All right, so uh, last progress. <laughs> it's my other uh, cell. Um, Pain-free crafts uh, cell 2020. I think there's, it's called mythical animal cell or something. I will add the information down below, but so they're releasing a letter in the alphabet every second week. And the first letter was A for Anubis. So cute. I love it. <laughs> and the colors are just amazing. And the eye, the white in the eye there, it was supposed to be a French knot, but I decided just to put in a bead and I just love it. So cool. My God, it's nice. And you can see I've been working on the frame as well. Very easy stitching. Yeah, it's so nice. <laughs> and today they released the second letter and it's B, basilisk for B. And it's a, like a teal green color. Oh, it's so beautiful. <laughs> and I can't wait to get home to get started on that. But the, this one, uh, the letter, letter A, I stitched that like in two days but I was off work, which I'm not now. So it would take a lot longer this time. So these are my progress. Um, that's all I've been working on, but I got a lot of haul. And first I was thinking of, you know, splitting the haul up in two different sections, but what the hell? Let's just go for it. So let's start with the fabric. You know, uh, I complained about a store I bought some hand dyed fabric from because I didn't get in touch with them. I didn't get any reply, but after a while I actually got through and yeah, there were some mis miscommunication, but she sent me some new fabric. Um, because it took so long to get it. So I got a new piece of the same fabric I have for my, for my Mirabilia Miss Christmas Eve. Very, very nice. 
and I have a Nora Corbett design. I think I want to stitch it on, stitch mm -hmm. that on that, whatever. Yes. And then she gave me a little piece of fabric, uh, you know, to say sorry for the miscommunication. <laughs> it's like a light lime green, and I think it is a 20, 28 count. Pastel green. Yeah, pastel. Pastel green. So it's a small piece, but it's gonna be great to try out like a small design on. So, and then I ordered this pattern. It's ink circles and it's called Three Little Cats. Isn't it just cute? <laughs> so cute and it reminded me a lot about the the dog's um, what's it called the dog's constitution I don't remember but they have uh, one with dogs which, which looks just like this but it's bigger and then I couldn't resist oh is it okay uh, I couldn't resist this one it's called you had me at flamingo Oh, so nice. Yes, I love that. Yeah. And I actually got two of them. So I've decided that when I have 500 subscribers, I think I will do a giveaway. And this will be one of them. Huh? <laughs> yeah, you're welcome. <laughs> and because I'm just so in love with Mirabilias, I have started to <clears throat> collect some of them. I have more. She's like, four of them? Well, I have more. So this is one. I didn't like this one before, but now I'm like, oh my God, I gotta stitch this one. And I don't remember her name. Oh, the sun goddess. Yeah, yeah, look at that. And it's just not in focus. <gasps> and the way she holds her, you know, necklace. Uh -huh. Oh, it's so nice. So beautiful. Yeah, like this one. And what's next? Ooh, yeah, the Gypsy Queen. I didn't like this one either before. But now I'm like, I gotta stitch this. Look at her hair. Why isn't it, why isn't it focusing? <laughs> and look at the oranges and the purples. Oh my God. And she's holding her necklace like that as well. Yeah, look. Beautiful. She's holding her necklace like that too. She reminds you of Billie Eilish. No. Okay. Oh yes. I love this one as well. It's the mermaids, mermaids of the deep blue. I wanted to stitch it on that color, but my God. Oh, it's so beautiful. Mm. Very nice. And this one. Oh, look at her. It's the feather fairy. So it's it's also Mirabilia. Yeah, it is. She's so beautiful, but she needs to be stitched on another fabric and than this. So nice. Oh my god. She reminds me a little bit of our crown pr princess in in Sweden, Victoria. Queen mm. Princess Victoria. She, she reminds me of her actually. Mm. Yeah, she looks like her. So, these are just patterns, no kits, but, oh yeah, for um, the oh sun goddess, I, of course, I got the oh embellishment package. <laughs> Look at all those beads. <gasps> Beautiful. And I got the embellishment package as well for the gypsy queen. Oh yeah, I'm drooling. Do you have a piece of paper? I need to dry my mouth. No, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I'm drooling. <laughs> <coughs> so.
So I'm doing this a bit fast because it's getting cold. <laughs> yeah. So I ordered three kits from Hawkins Hobbins. Three Mirabilia kits. No, two Mirabilia and one Nora Corbett. And this portrait of Veronica. Oh, and you know, all her dress is full of detail and beads and holy fuck. Sorry. Um, <laughs> yeah. And you know, in the in the in the kits you get the the pattern and you get the embellishment package, the beads. Lovely colors. And you get the DMC threads that you're using, that you need, I mean. And then you get the specialty threads and there weren't of course any specialty threads on Victor Veronica and on this kit I decided to get the fabric as well which is a 30 count linen and it's also like a uh, mint light mint green so I really like this one but if there are specialty threads like chronic or hand dyed uh, the threads, then you get that as well in the kit. Yeah, I could. <laughs> yeah, my daughter, she mentioned that I could use uh, the fabric for the koala bear uh, and I actually didn't print out any of the patterns. I bought the PDF patterns. I bought two patterns for um, charity. One is the koala bear uh, for the fires in Australia and if I remember I will link them down below and the other one is for charity for Parkinson's is for the Michael J. Fox Foundation and I had a, hu a huge crush, crush on Michael J. Fox when I was young <laughs> and my father uh, who died two years ago had uh, Parkinson. So I wanted to donate some money for that. So that was one kit. And then we have, of course, the famous lady. Red. <laughs> Look at that detail there. Oh my God. And have you guys seen? They, they changed the color so she has a blue coat instead. It's so beautiful. I didn't get the fabric with this pattern because I wanted some hand dyed fabric for it. But you have the, the DMC colors, no, the DMC threads, beautiful. And the embellishment package, that's a lot of beads. I can't wait to get started on all this. My God, why do I work? I mean, and then you have the specialty threads. So there were two blue threads here. <clears throat> and we have the last, uh, kit which I when I saw it I was like oh my god I gotta have it I gotta have it I gotta have it it's this one and it's called I don't remember her name but it's also a Christmas theme can you read it Pixie Couture collection Pixie Couture collection and her name is Holly. Holly. Look at her beautiful. Oh look at her dress. So this one is not so big as the other Mirabilia's but I was thinking of stitching this one on the same fabric as my Christmas Eve Mirabilia. I think those would be very nice together. And then the way she looks away with her face just like Miss Christmas Eve. 
She's so nice. And look at those berries. And oh, she's so beautiful. And she has also, you get also the DMC threads you need. Very Christmas like colors. And oh, we don't like them, but they're beautiful. Krennic. Ugh. Well, I'm not stitching it now, so. <laughs> and the embellishment package, which was very small, but very nice. Yes, now I'm starting to freeze as hell. <laughs> Yeah. I want more noodles. You want more noodles? I don't have any more noodles. <laughs> yeah. That was all. Imagine to have a nice, um, not quilt, uh, sleeping bag. Mm, to crawl in and some nice something nice warm to drink <laughs> so yeah I had um, I talked about a rotation how I plan to stitch on different projects every day and I think I only managed to do that one week and then I went back to work and no but I think I also said rotations are made to not follow <laughs> I don't know we're good stitchers I think sti stitchers are good not good at not following what rotation they set up to follow I don't know uh, and somebody commented uh, and told me I had a strange behavior behavior because I said I will never finish any of my heads, hates. And uh, well, I don't think it's anything strange about that. I uh, don't stitch heaven and earth signs to finish. I stitch them because I just enjoy stitching them. Yes. But when I start a project like a Mirabilia or this one, I have to finish those and I will finish them. So, I will give you a coffee cheers and wish you all a good day and I will see you the next time I have the time left over to make a video. So if you have any questions leave a comment below. Don't forget, forget to hit subscribe because then I will see you next time. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye. Bye.